Hi guys. So today I'm going to be putting some blinds on my room so that I don't get this super bright light that comes through, especially now with the summer. And so I'll be putting it up. It's really simple. I already put some in my dining room. Um, and at the beginning I thought it was really overwhelming. But once I got through it, it was actually really easy. I was afraid of it. So I want to just show you guys so you guys are not afraid and that you guys can be confident in putting blinds if you have to put them blinds in your house. All right, so let's get started. All right, for the parts, we have the center support right here. We also have the mounting bracket right there. We have uh, the screws. We also have these balance and um, returns, balance returns right here. We also have the balance clips and the balance return clip is this guy's over here. And we also have some bottom rail end caps. Uh, we also have the wand right here. And if you come over here, we also have the blind itself that is right there. And we might need a level, a drill, we already have that, a screwdriver, ladder if it's way too high, but the one that I have right here is not as high. And then a pencil so that you can mark. We're going to be installing our blinds on the inside of the window for an inside mount. Since you're going to be drilling, I started here and then I remembered that I don't want to get all my my nice already trim over there that's all clean and freshly painted uh, to get all the dust. So what I'm doing is just putting a post-it right here. I fold it and then I'm just going to be drilling right there in the spot that needs the drilling. Um, Mind you, I'm doing this with one hand, so bear with me. It's catching all the dust, and I will not have to worry about picking up and cleaning up later on. As you can see, I already mounted the first bracket here. Okay, so one of the things that I ran into was that the frame here that you see has a little bit of a ledge like it has a it has it comes into inside the the window and so what I had to do was get uh, some pieces of wood just with the same the same depth so that I could level the the space over here so that I can put my holding brackets um, and then what I did if we're gonna go to this other side if I can focus and there's some light here yeah I already put it here um, and you can see here it's already level it comes out we're gonna put this part here where when we close this this has like a little door and it'll close like you see here and when it's closed it's gonna be flush here to the frame and then we're gonna be able to open over here and if I can, I can't just do it with one hand. So I'll just tell you here that you open this and it's like a little door where your blind is going to slide into the top part of the blind and it, that's what's going to hold the blinds. And so I'm just going to be going on this side and putting the other bracket and I'll show you as I install the blind. Super easy. Um, so what I did is if you can see over here, I put in the bracket over here, which is flush to the to the frame, like we said, and there's the left one over here too. Um, I'm just opening the little doors over here, and you can see that they're mounted. They're very well. Um, I just put two screws, and that was that was pretty much enough. And what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna mount the blind. Um, I ran into a little to a little problem before before which was that I had to um, go cut it again at the Home Depot because it was too, it was longer than it than the than the opening 
So it took me a while because as you know, you can never find anybody <laughs> to help you. Finally, somebody came over and, and helped me out. But um, So I cut it to the length that was supposed, thankfully it was longer. And so the only thing that you have to do is get it into the brackets all the way in and you're done. The next steps that you're going to have to do to put in your your blinds to put your your cover so that you don't see the the, the top of the blind is you're gonna have to use there you go we're gonna use this little um, kind of like clips to put on on the top over here you can put one on each side that should be enough and it's gonna clip into this box here on top of the blind. Once you have it there, all you have to do is find the slot right here in the middle where it's going to go and kind of like go this way. Your clip is going to be here, right? And then you're going to put your balance this way and then just there you go. This part here is the one that's clipped to the to the blind. And then you're going to have this installed like this. You have your top right there to cover it. I really didn't do the middle bracket because I don't think it's going to need it. I think it's not as not long enough that it's going to bow or anything like that in the middle, so you, you can just keep it for another project, for another, another place. Then I have the wand that I'm going to put for the turning the blinds open and close. Just get it there. And there you go. That's all. I don't think there's anything else that I can show you guys other than the wand is longer because then the window is going down way, <laughs> way longer than it is. So you can just open your blinds so you can have that bright light where we couldn't see anything or close them and then you're gonna have a really good like space where you can just relax and go to sleep at the end of the day so I hope that this helps you it's really easy and I'm gonna be showing you a little bit more right now I really hope that this helps you install the inside mount blinds in your home this is one of the easier DIYs that I've done guys, so you will be able to tackle it with no problems. Links for all my favorite tools are in the description box, and if you want to see more videos like this of transformations and tutorials, go ahead and jump over to the next videos coming up, and don't forget to subscribe and like. I really thank you for your support, God bless you, until next time, bye bye.